And you know last time i made a video on how to create a, a free vps okay whatever the case could be but a vps and uh, i still i showed you how to log in your vpn using a, a ssh client of android because so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create users and how you can create premium users and many 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 more so um give me some time i explain to you something in we go so now what you are going to use you are going to use uh, a client called juice ssh and you are going to use a script a script to use having many commands executed at once so all you need to do is just go and download the the script is in the description of this video you go there and click where you see script i'll write script and then you download you go to that website if it is copy and paste you copy and paste if it is downloading a text file you download and then read that file and then copy and paste in the so let's go on and log in into our server i launch the client and then i start the server oops now it's running it's running it's running uh-huh we are there so now we are going to run the script at once it's having many commands the upgrade commands those who know to use the linux programming they know what i mean the upgrades and so on so i'm just going to paste because many people i'm you doing this because many people don't know like these commands and they are not used to if you tell them to type each and each it will be difficult but uh, i made i made it simple and we paste the the the, the commands to install the script, the script so we are installing you click enter now after clicking enter you let the system run it will install each and every command i made this i combined all the commands which are required into one one command and uh, the other commands which are going to use into this system and uh, i hope you're seeing them running from you know actually even it depends on the on the speed of your internet okay so as keep on watching as it installs the packages yeah as well don't forget to subscribe to this channel because more and more will be coming on your your way of course if you feel like you want to talk to me direct you can tap on the whatsapp that's where you'll be able to talk to me directly well here we are now the script is almost gonna be installed and what you need is to select the language you want however don't be don't be disappointed if you see that you selected the language you want and it brings out into another language of course there's another there's a certain option i'm gonna show you at the end so that you're able to change the script however much it has been installed in uh, uh in spanish we're able to change it to the preferred language so my preferred language here is in english so what i'm going to do is to select english and which is the script has been installed and now the only step remaining is to uh to execute a command which calls the system like which activates the script now it is only two letters or three letters which you use and uh, to make this screen clear so that we can see each and everything i'm going to type clear okay well i've cleared my screen and then i'll call that by typing adm okay oops now this is what i this is what i was telling you that uh this script even if you say that uh, you want it in english still at the end it will be in another language so what you are gonna do here that you are going to select option 7 at first and then we select the preferred language you want and uh, my preferred language i want is english okay so you let it to uh, you let the system to change it to english Remember our major purpose here is to change the is to create users and proactivate many stuff so in this video we are going to only change um let's clear this we are done okay let's activate we uh, we activate it by clicking adm advanced okay now we are going to create users and the the option is one you enter one okay then after entering one then you say create users one so uh i have a user which i created as uh, scott ug and um let me create another user for example they enter the new username for instance i can say subscribe the user is called subscribe sub subscribe okay and then the password we can say again subscribe 
okay and then the password or duration for the username we can say okay like duration for the user you can give him that is the period is available this this is in terms of days so you can give him or him or her like 30 days if it is the duration the user has paid for and then what is the limit of connections like like how many uh like uh, sessions that that user is allowed for example we can give him 10 sessions that is the number of connections that user is allowed to have so the user is created and you just need to copy copy the credentials of the user it's just a matter of texting them that your credentials are these and that hope you've seen it there okay that's we are done with creating a user and we can check the users which are online by checking or by clicking details of users by entering four okay and then we can see uh the users which are there okay and the time and the time they you have already that is for this video now in now my next video i will show you uh how to these users can be connected to shh injector like like HTTP injector. Thanks for watching. We we'll meet in the next video. God bless you.